You can be sitting for weeks with storyboards running through a project from every single angle possible. But the moment you step on set, there is that indescribable excitement of seeing where these scenes are going to take you. For this project, we had talent, crew, flying in from six different states to make this happen. We were working through a database of over 100 different campgrounds, and we had to narrow that down to one specific campground that we loved and we wanted to go shoot this piece at. Rolling. Scene two, take 17, and action. For this production, we used the C500 Mark II as A cam and the C200 as B cam. The 500 Mark II really feels like a Rolls Royce meets, you know, Swiss army knife of cinema cameras on the market right now. The variety of codec and resolutions meant we had it all. We could shoot 12-bit 5.9K RAW with those full 15 stops of dynamic range for the most demanding shots. And then we had the option of 10-bit 4K XF AVC, which helped us maximize space on our CF Express cards. And it's the little things that really add up, you know, the built-in image stabilization, the added feature of buttons that glow on the side for shooting night scenes, that flexibility between different crop factor modes, you know, full frame, super 35, super 16. We do the best job we can to plan a shoot down to the minor detail, but then we like to think outside the box. Our projects are guided by the script, yes, but we try to we, we try to leave room for surprises. You know, where is the on-screen chemistry going to take us? My B cam operator might see the perfect angle. There might be new ideas about how we can entirely reinterpret a scene to make it more effective on the screen. All right, stop right there. We're framing a shot so that the back truck tires are going to spin. Basically, we've got the grass a little bit damp. Other than that, we've got a rut that the trailer has to get over and we've got the truck in two-wheel drive, so it's gonna create some resistance. Storytelling is all about conflict. We're trying to say, how can we take one shot and you can instantly realize, oh, these people are in distress. Problems are always bound to happen. Things always go wrong, and you have to adapt. One of the scenes we had to source a vintage vehicle, and we found a guy that had the perfect car. Two hours before we were about to be on set, I get the call from him that he's not able to make it because he's having car problems. All the different people that were involved in this scene are all, they've scheduled their days around this. We're all gonna be on scene no matter what. So you scramble left and right, you start calling everybody you know, and you come up with a solution. We're literally knocking on neighbor's doors. We're you know, driving to the local forest preserve, seeing if there's any cars. 20 minutes before I was about to make the call, pull the plug, reschedule the shoot, see an A-class motorhome pulling an older vehicle, which looked to be in the right era. So we just pull in right behind him, get out, talk to the guy. Without really much hesitation, he's like, sure guys, yeah, I'll come out. And sure enough, you know, about 30 minutes later, he drove out, stood on the side of the road with his dog, hung out and watched us shoot for the next three hours. We've been using Canon for nearly a decade because their gear is perfectly suited between a fully built up production and our more verite documentary approach to filmmaking. Regarding lenses, we primarily used Cinema Prime lenses, so a full set ranging from 14 millimeters all the way to 135. At times, we would mix it up to take advantage of that dual pixel autofocus. So we would use some staple EF lenses, 16 to 35, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, to really get all those bases covered. So that's something I, that I love to do, is really get people inspired, look for the, the, the gifts and talents that different people have, and bring out the best in them. Creativity doesn't have a filter. It's the willingness to explore an idea from every angle, even those that might at first appear too silly or unlikely that ultimately give birth to something that sticks. So then creativity is simply the discipline of playfully exploring without judgment. Canon helps us do exactly that, create whatever our minds can dream up without gear ever getting in the way.